morning guys um i tried the lucetta um hair mask yesterday and this is how it looks like my hair is more shiny and to think i just woke up i didn't put anything except that one i literally just woke up because i'm gonna be celebrating my son's fitness birthday today and yesterday winnie and i stopped by the dollar tree and i just bought a little stuff um mostly food but I'm not going to show it anymore. Also, yesterday, I bought this uh, at Walmart. I forgot to take it off my bag, so I wasn't able to show you. This is the Rendezvous uh, blush. I know. I, I'm pretty sure I have it already. And this is how it looks like. It's very um, plummy color. And I cannot wait to use that. And I'm not sure if I got this before at the Dollar Tree. This is only $1.25. Um... I cannot find it at my, uh, cause I have a bag, uh, I have a, I have all my Dollar Tree, uh, stuff here. So when I do, uh, Dollar Tree makeup, I know where to get them all. And they are usually here and I can't seem to find it. So I'm not sure if I have it already, but I, I know I have the feeling that that i already bought it this is the flower beauty mix and matte mix and matte lip duo in the shade tickle pink um i think i did i i am pretty sure i i have it already uh so yeah that's only dollar 25 and i bought these two hand and nail gloves you leave it on for 15 minutes on your hand and Begin with clean, dry hand. Open this and put it on your on your hands. Um, relax for fifteen to twenty minutes. Remove gloves and massage the remaining. You don't have to rinse it. And I only tried to. I gave the order to to to. Uh, we need to try. So. I will update you how it feels like. And I got this lipstick. I'm planning to get this for me and Winnie. Because the shade is called BFF. It's by LA Color. It's a matte lipstick. And unfortunately, this is the last one. So, I want to try it. And this is how the shade looks like. Oh, I love it. It's very soft matte. So... Um, it feels nice. It feels nice, and that's how it looks like. Um, I'm gonna insert this video because I'm gonna do a, a get ready with me makeup after for my son's birthday. But that was later, later because it's still early. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna see you again later when I do my makeup. Peace out. Bye. Okay, um, yesterday it was my hamster's six months birthday, and these are my Ruby's son, Oreo and Homer. They cannot be together anymore, <laughs> or they're gonna fight. They just turned six months old. This is Homer, my baby. Oreo is on my lap right now. He's trying to climb. That's Oreo, and that's Homer. They're the twins. Oreo is black and Homer is gray. And I don't know, they used to be together before, and they're both big for six months. So let me show you Homer first. Homer, baby, happy six months birthday. I love you. Oh, oh you don't want me to hold him because I touch Homer. Come here, Aya. Come here, Aya. Come here, it's okay. It's okay. This is Oyo. He's scared because I just touched Homer. So... Ah, he's trying to jump and like he cannot escape. Let me get Homer first because he's harder to control. And I don't want him to walk with Homer on the floor. So I'm just going to hold Homer. So anyway, they turned six months old. So happy birthday to my pups. Oyo is almost falling off the bed. So I'm just showing them to you. Bye, see you again later. Hi guys, yesterday on my video I said I'm going to show you where I store, or how I store my uh, makeup brushes. Because I just got this, uh, it looks like a book. But it's uh, just a box where I put some of my brushes. I also store it here 
one boxes like this. These are my small brushes. And I just spread it out when I need it because I don't want the dust to collect it. I also have a longer transparent one that looks like this, but longer. This one is for my all small brushes. I have two more big ones. And that's how I store my brushes. Because I don't want them to get dirty. So yeah. And I still have some on the box. This is my type. So I can start using them. I just have to un unbox it and throw it out. I already did I already did it uh, the other day to some of my brushes. And I still have more to unbox. So I'm still looking for this one. Here, this two. I'm going to take it out of their container so I can start using them. Uh, and I also keep my sponge there. My sponge. So it won't collect dust. Because I also use... Uh, Reusable sponges because I don't want it to get dirty. I also have a separate brushes for my clients because I also do makeup for other people, and I keep this uh, kind of uh, you know like a I don't know what to, I don't know what to call that cloth, but it's good in taking off makeup. And hold on. See, I store some on this one, and I have longer flat one like this. One more. So yeah, I still have to use this one, the unicorn. Unicorn face brush I got from Profusion. I want to take it off the container so I can finally use it. So, yeah. I just washed my face with this uh, Dollar Tree Gentle Skin Cleanser. It's comparable to Cetaphil. And it feels lightweight and I, I feel like my skin is so f uh, uh, clean. So, that's, that's what I use for my face. And... I'm just fixing all the brushes that I got. So yeah, I got it here. So mostly I'll be using new brushes today. Hold on. Uh, okay. So I haven't used this for a while, so I want to try... This Maybelline mousse, liquid mousse in uh, number 75 is natural beige. But first, I want to try this. I already put um, my uh, Sephora Super Hydrant uh, All Day Body Hydrator. Uh, I, I usually wear um, normal... Avino or baby lotion on my face, so it's nothing new to me. But I saw this one, it says uh, vitamin C miracle moisturize, I mean, miracle moisturizer, radiance boosting, our glow boosting cocktail vitamin C. It's the one from Good to Glow, um, Body Dirty Works, and it says, um, you can use it before makeup. I it's on my haul yesterday, and I wanna test it now. So I'm putting a tiny bit because I already have moisturizer on, and I'm sure, and I'm pretty pretty sure that my hands are clean. So I'm gonna put it where I'm usually dry on my T zone. You know, where I put it where you usually want to shine. I'm putting it on my eyes too. Why not? I 
I'm planning to do it and get re uh, I mean get ready with me video later for my son's uh, celebration. It's his birthday. It's his fifteenth birthday today. But I don't know what time he'll be coming home from school. I don't know if we're gonna be rushing or anything. So I just decided to do makeup. I mean, it's still early. I can. I'm still gonna take a shower anyway. So. I'm just going to try all the makeup that I got. The new ones that I got. And I don't even know what look to go for. So, this video will be called Practice With Me. I, I mentioned that on my whole video. Because it's been a while since I did makeup. Okay, so since I'm still letting it sink, sink in on my skin um i'm gonna use this papaya pow pow uh tinted to coral balm while waiting because you want to moisturize his uh, lips it has a color Earlier when I show you uh Homer and uh, Oyo, I think home I I thought Oyo will pass out because <laughs> he looks so scared. They used to be together up to three months, I think. But you know what, Oyo used to be the aggressive one, but Homer got bigger. So I mean, home yeah, Homer got bigger. So Oyo got intimidated by that. Now he's scared of Homer, but Homer is so gentle. He's really like a baby. I really love Homer a lot. Ruby is their mom. Oh my god. I got a sample from Sephora. It's a... Uh, it's the Brow Wiz by Anastasia. I told, I mentioned on my video that I only have the gel one. I don't have the actual Brow Wiz. So, I'm looking for it because that's what I'm planning to use. Now, I cannot fucking find it. Uh, it's always like that. When you don't need something, you always... Let me just look for it, okay? I've been looking for it for more than 10 minutes. I just couldn't find it. I looked everywhere. I don't know where I put it. I misplaced it. So, I'm just going to be testing a different... Um, brow product anyway i have this moisturizer for more than 15 minutes already from looking at my from that sample i'm still oh my god i'm so forgetful now i just couldn't remember where i put it so anyway um let's apply the the what do you call that the Let's apply the foundation. Uh, it's the Dream Liquid Mousse. I used to love that a lot. And I'm really annoyed that I can't find it. Oh well, I give up. I'm just gonna Put it on my new. You know what? Um, I have this for a while and I haven't really used it. And I, I, it's it's time for me to start using them. Cause why not? I have this mixing palette here. I have two. One from the crown, and I forgot where I got this one. And I want to use that one, the one with the handle. So I'm going to be mixing it there. So I'll have to wash my hands and keep wasting tissue to wipe it. Oh wow, this is so thick now. I don't remember the consistency of it before, but 
I'm putting it there. And I always wipe the end. So when you pump the next one, there's no residue of the... It's not gonna be gonky, you know, sometimes when you haven't used... I, I like it because you could twist it and you could lock it. See, even if you press it, it's not gonna press anymore. So, let me just retain this one. And let me see what brush I wanna use. Oh, I want to use all this brush that I got from uh, Walmart because it's purple. I want to use all of that and test it out. Hold on, let me seal my other brushes. Okay, uh, this is the flattest one I could find, so I'm gonna use that. You just insert your thumb there and you just flatten it. See the gonky part it's still there, that part right there. So you just spread it like that and apply it thinly. See, like I told you yesterday, if you watch my video, I, um, I, I really have a good skin. I just have a few, um, you know, I thought it's a pimple, but it's not. It's So now I have those scars, but it's not bad. And those lining is from my cheekbone. And I just have dark on the eye circle. But skin-wise, I'm okay for my age. I'm at, in my 40s now, late 40s. Um, but still... Um, my skin is not hard to work with. So I only need a tiny layer of foundation. Because I don't like heavy foundation. Sometimes um, I skip the concealer. Because sometimes the coverage of the foundation is enough to cover my dark on the eye. I also put it on my lid because I have a dark, uh, like I said, a dark on the eye circle. I only use a uh, color corrector or concealer when I'm really going on a special event. And I need a uh, I know there's gonna be a lot of picture takings and everything. So far the brush is nice, it's very soft. It used to be $10 I think or $20 and I got it for 50% off after Christmas sale. So if it's $20 I got it for 10, if it's $10 I got it for five, if it's 15 I got it for 7.50. I include, I know I, got, I did a haul of this and the price is right there. I just don't remember because I buy a lot of things. So I still want my skin to shine. Like I don't want to hide my flaw completely because that's what makes it natural. See that it is still left there, the gunk. That's from the last pump. So I don't have use for that. Imagine if you use the the sponge is going to be rolling all around your face. And the reason why I don't like a uh, sponge because you just stamp it on your face. It just stay there and make it look more heavy. And that's where you get um cake face. So I'm happy with the coverage. See, it's very, very natural. It's not like, if you don't see me earlier and you don't know I have that eye to eye, you wouldn't know that I have it. So, let's keep it simple and minimal. And I want to try this, um, uh, what's the brand? What's the... 
Yuma. U O M A Yuma. You got it. You can get it from Walmart. It's the E C S A B one and done bra product. And I got two of the I got three of this. The other two is number eight, which is this. And I got number seven. Uh, the number seven, I don't know how it looks like yet, but I've tried this already before. This is, I think, less than $5 at Walmart. But I got it at Ross for less than $3. But the shade is not, it's not um, the exact bell product that I have. The, I mean, the exact color for my bell. So, anyway. Let's see. I'm gonna brush my bell face. This is practice with me, okay? Because I haven't done makeup. Whatever is the last video you saw me did makeup, that's the last time I, I wore makeup. Like last New Year. Yeah, last New Year, that's the last time I did my makeup. And I was washing that day because I was working. I don't want to set my face first because I'm not sure if I'm I'm going to be using cream blush or whatever. So it's easier to clean. See, the shade is not bad for my brow because I'm applying it lightly. And I'm going to spread it around. I just concentrate on the tip because I don't have a perfect brow. Who does? I mean some, yeah. And then there's on the other side, there's a spoolie. A small, small spoolie. And you can, oh, be careful. This is so dark. Oh my God. See, that's how dark it is. I'm just applying it lightly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my clean spoolie to take out the stuff. See, if I got the right shade, this would be really pretty. But I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to use this um, Tony Perfect Brow Mini Kit from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use this uh, dark shade because this color is dark. To seal the brow, to keep it in place. Like I said, I'm only concentrating at the end. Because this one is so thick already. Like I said, this is practice with me. Because it's been a while. See? That's why I don't like microblading. Because that's going to leave a permanent uh, shape on your face. I mean your bow. And the brow is the one that gives expression to your face, so I don't want that because I do different kind of makeup, you know, especially on Halloween. And I want to express myself more. Sometimes I do sad clown makeup, scary one. So if I do the microblading, that will leave a permanent expression on my face and I don't want that. You just need to cover it up again to make it thin or whatever. So I'm ha I'm happy with my brow even if it's like this. So yeah, I like I like this one. I just need to practice more how to use it. And I 
the one I'm gonna be testing out today for makeup is this Loya Gala Loya's Essential. I got it a few days ago or yesterday, I'm not sure. And I wanna try this one. I'm just hoping I don't have another one like this. I'm looking at my eye palettes right now. I'm making sure I don't have it. Because if I do, I'm going to use the one I just got before this. Anyway, let's just go ahead. This is less than $10, this palette. And it's very, very wearable, all the shades, see? So... I'm gonna apply this all over my eyes. This shade right here. It's called Jubilant, this color. Be very careful because, you see, even if you do it lightly, it got a lot of, uh, I forgot what to call it. Uh, dude. I haven't done makeup for so long, I don't even know. I don't even remember what you call it. Excess? Excess. Oh, wow. I cannot really remember what you call it. Fall off. Fall out. Fall out. I think fall out. I think fall out. <laughs> I mean, I, I know this eyeshadow will be pigmented if you don't have under eye circle like I do. Me, I have to layer it since my I have dark under eye circle, so it's not the eyeshadow's fault. Because first of all, I didn't put any base anyway except the foundation. See, I'm just tapping it everywhere. So far, I like it because some eyeshadow, uh, since I'm, I'm aging already, some eyeshadow makes my skin look really older when I put it on, but this one is fine. So now, just be very careful when you use this because this could uh, have a, a lot of fall off. Fall out, fall out. So anyway, I want to try this Joyful, the second darkest one next to this. Before, if it's not enough pigment, I'm going to switch to this one, which is uh, Pleasant. So I'm going to use the Joyful first. I'm using this uh, other brush, the blending brush. I'm just tapping it like this. I'm putting it on my crease. You 
you know the most um i look that i don't do are the sharp ones like this like really pull uh elongating your eye and make it look really sharp but i saw this makeup look her name is a proper makeup she's my favorite uh, makeup artist she's been an uh youtube og she doesn't do video anymore but you know uh she's still my friend on facebook in fact one of her last video she contributed uh, she made a tribute beauty for me because she knows I'm a, I'm a great fan so her name is Apropo Makeup and on her makeup on her Facebook I saw this makeup look she did and I want to copy that one you know just to test if you know why I'm while I still can do makeup I want to test out more makeup look so yeah so anyway since this is not dark enough I want to move to timid I mean, timid, this is the darkest one. Uh, for my crease again. <laughs> when you tilt your head like this, you can see the bone, see? That's what I'm just following. To open up my eyes. Especially when you're aging, when you fold it, see the fold. So, I want to keep my eye more op open. That's why I need to practice more. Because some makeup techniques that I used to do before doesn't work anymore. Since my eyelid have a different shape now. You just embrace it, you know. Me, I'm, I, I, I don't care if you want to do eye surgery if whatever you want to do with yourself that's your life that's your choice but me i just want to age gracefully because i want to appreciate how god made me that's why i like makeup you're just enhancing what he already gave you and you can just wash it off and you know be yourself again you just have to love yourself you know and be appreciative I'm just extending it a little bit. Not upward, but like this. See? See the extent? extent I, I'm extending it here. But I'm not going like really sharp like that. And then I'm going to use the same shade under. You could layer this look if you want. If you want to go heavy, you know, you can. That's why I like eyeshadow that's not too pigmented because it's easy to work with. Because it's easier to add shadow than remove the excess. And take your time. I still love makeup, but can you blame me if I love my hamster more? How can I resist them? Look at all you know. Oh my. Let me see if Emily's awake. Emily! It's usually when I call her, she climb on her. She climb, and then when I see her, there is. Sometimes when I'm coughing because I'm so sick and she he she heard my voice, she would climb up. So far, it's only Luca that's awake. Oh, and I need to trim his hair. I'm going to show you why. Hold on, let me get Luca. I'll be back. Luca is my only Syrian hamster that's long hair. And I have to trim his hair again. See, it's so long. I always trim his hair. Because the bedding keeps on getting stuck on his hair. You know what I like about him? You can leave him on the table for as long as you want. One time I was watching a movie. And I forgot he's there. <laughs> when I came back, he's still there. That's why my son loves him a lot. Just look, huh? Look. 
come my love. And then when I call him and it's time for him to come back, he won. Oh, Luca, my love. This is Luca. Luca, sweet dad. Luca, baby. Look at my handsome boy. Oh, mm. Oh, baby. Every time I hold him, he hold my hands. See? Luca, sweet dad. See? He always hold it. Look at my love. Mm. Now can you blame me if I rather spend time with them? I'm gonna make him run around while I'm doing my makeup. It's just gonna be here. He's a good boy. And then when I come when I call him he comes to me. That's why my husband adores him a lot. Oh I'm just keeping an eye on him. You know what? I'm gonna return him. Because I don't want my son to wake up and re not realize Luca was there and he might sit on him. I'll be back. Okay, before I return him, I already trim his hair. I don't know if you see the difference, so... I already trim it. So you can see. It's not perfect, but at least no bedding will be. Hi, Luca. Say bye-bye to them, baby. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna continue with my makeup. I'm just gonna return him. Okay. Woo! I left him on the table where he could enjoy running around. Because <sighs> I'm pretty sure he's still gonna be there. I mean, I've, I've had him for s more than a year. So, I already know I can trust him running around the table. So, anyway. Let's continue. I want to use this lighter shade. It's called Enha Enchanted. It's like a matte cream color. And I'm just going to leave it here. I'm doing more like a 90s call eyeshadow. All matte, all neutral. Very 90s. Don't worry, when I return to Luca, I wash my hands before continuing with my makeup. And I'm gonna do the same thing. See? So 90s. I'm gonna be using the rest of the product, but I'm gonna powder myself first and, and uh, set everything. So, Luca was so excited running around my bed. Because I don't let him run here, I only let him run in the living room. So when he saw my bed, he's very, very excited running around. And this time he's not listening. Because it's new to him, so he's very curious. I'm doing my makeup really quick. This might be my... Uh, this might be my makeup later. For my son's birthday. I usually just do makeup like this. When there's an occasion. But today I'm gonna put... um concealer because my under eye is so bad because Winnie and I have been coming home late from work getting not getting enough sleep so the only time I get to sleep this week was last night so since my brow is so dark I'm also powdering that to let it stay for, lo for longevity You know what, even if I, I'm wearing makeup, I could still feel the moist. This hydrator is really good. I could still feel like I'm just wearing moisturizer since I did my foundation lightly. Bye.
I, my under eye is so dark is so dark but I'm gonna be I'm just gonna let it be part of the look some Asian even do fake uh eye bag egg yourself I have it naturally so might as well flaunt <laughs> it you know so anyway I like all the brush that I use so far and now I'm gonna do um lip light I mean uh, eyeliner I'm wondering where I, where I could put this uh, Oh, by the way, when I was telling you about this that I got from, uh, it's made in Korea, I got it from Marshalls, is I Bake You Happy. It's a, it's a pearl, pearl uh, powder. It's the same as this one. This is, I'm right, it's a, it's by She. This is a illuminate, pearl luminizer, and this one is, the other one is, uh, setting powder but in pearl finish these are the same see as you can tell but the other one is more golden white and this one is more i think silvery white i want i want to touch this at first i don't like it but they've been doing this um you know how they used to highlight just here but they're gonna we're gonna be doing it differently but first, let me contour my face. Oh no, I'm going to do eyeliner first. I'm going to use this CoverGirl uh, in uh, Espresso. And I'm just going to do it near my last line, like the 90s. And I'm gonna smudge it using this. This is the one I use for my brow. And this already have a uh, powder excess from my eyebrow earlier, so it's like I set it already with powder, and I'm curling my lash with my elf one. I know I bought a new mascara, so we're gonna try that. I always clean my mascara, my um, curl lash every time I use it. Because if you leave a residue of your mascara there, by the time you use it next time, it could clump your lashes and pull it, up, pull it off. You can get your lashes bald if you don't keep it clean. Uh, what's the uh, mascara that I got this? Yeah, the number seven intense volume proof in black. So if this is good, this is what I'm gonna use later on my son's party, birthday celebration, not party, but birthday celebration. Whoa. This is gonky, oh my god. So we just take out all the excess one. Oh, it's a lot. The brush is so thick, so I don't know. Oh. Ah! No. This is very messy. 
you know what? If you if you if you if you if you are with me right now, and you go to my if you see all my makeup, I don't have dirty makeup. I always clean them. I just cannot stand dirty makeup. Anyway, let's proceed. Oh wow. It says waterproof and uh, intense volume. As I put it, I go. I'm going like this to spread the mascara, so I won't have spider lash. This one would made my eyelash really thick, but not long, just thick. See? It's not long, it didn't say long, but intense volume, yes. To think that I already removed most of the product from the wand, it's still giving me that, uh, what it clings. To give. Whoa. I love this. It feels wet when you apply it. Like. I don't know, it's weird, but it feels like my lash is very moisturized. It's like, you know, when you just cry and you feel that your lash are wet, that's how it feels like. But, it's not, because as you see, I removed most of the product. Oh, I love this. It makes my... Oh, see, I only put a little makeup, you know that. And I just smudge my uh, eyeliner. I barely do anything special with my makeup now. It's very, very simple, but this mascara made it really intense. Like it says, intense volume. I'm gonna get, be getting more of this. Not now, but when I run out, I'm gonna be repurchasing it. Repurchasing it. Repurchasing it, yeah. So now I'm uh, done with this. Oh no, I want to try the blush part. This is a uh, bashful. You know the highlighter is not, it says highlighter, so I'm going to apply both of them on my cheek, okay? Because it's uh, the in, we're all into, uh, what do you call that? Uh... Not matte blush, but uh, blush with highlight already. I like the oh, I like the color. Very. It's not too pigmented, but you know I like it. It's very simple, but you know it's natural. Ooh, I like it. I just hope they have bigger blush. Cause see, it's making it's making my my palette dirty. Cause my brush is so big. I'm just using this side. And I'm gonna use this highlight. Ooh, hope it's not gonna ruin it. Oh wow, that's so beautiful. Si Luca ba nasa table? That's my husband. He just got here. He just got home. I asked if Luca was still on the table. He said, yeah. Told you. He 
it leaves a pinkish tone. If you look at it, it's like bronzy. I don't know, maybe. The, oh, never mind, the sunlight is not giving it justice. But it's, it's like a. How do I describe the shade? Like, this is the blush. See? It's not brown. It's not too brown. What does it say? Highlighter and blush. Yeah. The highlighter is perfect for the blush color. The highlighter is called Demure. Oh, no wonder it's very Demure. I love this palette. I'm glad I didn't hesitate to get it. So, Loya has all the reason why this is her essential. Because this is all you need. Still, I want to use this one. Like how they use it. I'm just going to get grab the one from the... Because I don't need a lot. See how pigmented that is? Imagine if you put it on your face. You barely see it here. I just want the effect. I don't want it to be screaming on my face. I'm gonna put it on my nose. On the bridge of my nose. I didn't even contour my nose. And I'm gonna leave it on. You know your pupil. You just leave it here. I touch a pupil on here. You know where the light hits your face, see? That's how they do it now. So you will know it's even. Just look straight on in the mirror. And just apply it over there. And make sure you blend it. To make it look like it's just shining through, see? And then you leave some on your brow. See? That's how we do it in the 90s. Mm. See that? Why do you think they're still doing the 90s? Because this is the best my generation. And then I'm going to apply a lip liner. Alright. Oh, I don't have a new lip liner from Melt. God, I hope it's nude. But you know what? If you're wearing this kind of shade, like eye makeup, you can get away with the really dark lipstick. And I don't want to do that. I want to keep it simple. What the fudge? This won't come out. It says familiar. Let me see how it looks like. Come out. Ah, very dark. Mm, should I? Should I? Should I? No. I want to keep it simple. I really do. Mm, no, not you. I'm just gonna grab one from whatever was here. My essence. This is called. What's this essence? It's in the shade. BDB AB? There's no name? That's corny. Yeah, it's just number, so. <laughs> and I want to use that uh, Anastasia lipstick that I got yesterday. I 
I really love nude lipstick. Because I don't want people to be staring at me because of my makeup. I just want to look decent enough. But I don't want people to look at me because of my makeup. And this is the lipstick that I got. This is by Anastasia. And it's in Warm Taupe. That's how it looks like. Oh, it's very creamy. It's easy to glide. It's not so good like MAP. Mm, perfect! It's like a caramel brown. Love everything. And of course, I have to contour. I cannot not, I cannot not contour. I'm gonna be, this is too dark for me. This is the Golden Dark Powder from Essence. It's an original foundation. It's freaking dark. But, uh, uh, see, it's like a cocoa powder. So what I'm gonna do is dab some and tap it here and swirl it around. Because I've seen women lighter than me get away with it, so I might as well get away with it. I'm just using a tiny, tiny bit, see? You barely see anything. See? Barely nothing. I'm just swirling it. So, you know, um... When you buy something wrong, like a uh, wrong shade for you, make it work. See, I like it because it's a powder. It's a foundation powder, so it's not going to look like it's too orangey on you. You know, it's going to be a darker shade than you. And it's still a powder, so it's still going to set everything. See, with that small amount, it, it already... Burns my face, and I'm using this part. See this brush, the slanted part, the end to contour. Although I don't need it because I already have it. See, I'm just following it. My nose, just holding it like that, and powdering it gently. I'm just spreading it really fast because I don't want it to be too obvious. See? And then under my chin, not under my chin, but under here to make it my lips look more pouty. Mm -hmm. See? And my jaw, jawline. You can tell from my neck that I'm not young anymore. Because I used to have a thyroid problem. It used to be really, really big, especially this part, see? And I had radiation. So that's as excess skin for my thyroid. So it's been there with me for more than 24 years. So I'm used to it. Doesn't bother me at all. So there you have it. That's my simple practice with me makeup. That mascara changed everything, I swear. You saw it. It changed the makeup game of my face. Of course, I'm going to use a spray. I'm going to use my aloe vera. Hold on. This is my aloe vera soothing mist. This is the... This aloe vera mist will soothe and cool the skin to deliver hydration over areas of dryness. It's not a makeup, makeup spray, but just to keep your face hydrated because this weather is so cold, you know. Oh. The mist is like 
it's not gonna stop until you let it go. Like, shh, like that. And I'm gonna, it tastes like aloe vera too. What the heck? There's a taste. So close your mouth when you speak. You know what? I wanna look like this later. <laughs> So, I don't know if I'm still gonna take a shower because I took a shower last night. I really love how my makeup turned out. Very simple yet presentable, right? What do you think? Let me see if I look better with my hair down. I think I look better with my hair up. I'm just gonna keep it up later. See? I look more elegant looking. See? So there you have it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'll see you again next time. And I'll be doing more makeup now from now on because I miss it so much. So thank you again for sticking around. And bye. See you again next time.